special, but the beautiful Tamara is gonna be coming up next to take you through the evening. Good night, everybody, and I'll see you on Saturday. what spring has sprung and I'm glad that you're watching HSN for this hour because we're gonna help you get your garden just as beautiful as you see here and don't worry it's not gonna be difficult what you're looking at is perched atop the Arkansas River it's Moss Mountain it's the farm of television personality landscape designer gardening lifetime expert P. Allen Smith. It's a spectacular 650 acre estate. It's filled with gardens and orchards and ponds. And guess what? The flowers that you're getting today were all grown there by this gentleman right here, P. <laughs> Allen Smith, who's going to be joining us. We're so glad that you're here. Tamara, I'm thrilled and happy spring. Happy spring. It's finally know? here. This is a lot of, uh, for a lot of us, this is our favorite time of year. Oh, yeah. Because the flowers are starting to be in mm -hmm. bloom. And what you brought along to us is a way to easily have the beauty in our home that you have in your estate every day. Absolutely. I have spent years collecting these plants and identifying the very best ones that perform particularly well. Mm -hmm. And so today, what we're doing, we're kicking off this, this offer of these foxgloves. Absolutely. We're going to start with the foxgloves. And what I want you to recognize is everything's brand new, just in time for spring. And if you fall in love with it, don't worry, because Alan is going to, sh you know, let you know how to care for these. But these were all curated by you. Yeah, we've grown them. You know, for years, I, I, we trial all kinds of plants. So everything that we're going to offer, I'm so thrilled to be partnering with HSN and mm -hmm. helping people people make better choices for their gardens. Mm -hmm. This particular line of foxglove, I think, is so floriferous. You can see all the blooms on them, yeah. and they grow oh so quickly. Gosh. Look at that! And the thing about it is, you know, people are going, gosh, it snowed in New York last week. It's just, you know, there's snow on the ground. We ship these when it's time for them to be planted in your garden. Okay. okay. So now's the time to take advantage of really what we have to offer because I just have a limited number of them. That's right. But what I love about this foxglove collection mm -hmm. is that um, you've got this, uh, well, range of color. You've got pink. You've got purple, and then over here is the, is one that's called Dalmatian Peach, which oh, has wow. that beautiful sort of salmon color, which I, I think is so hot. And you're going to get all of the colors. Yes. So you don't have to decide which one, because that's the beauty of it, really, just to have a beautiful blend in your garden. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. And I've chosen these because these are particularly easy for you to grow, okay? okay. This okay. is particularly easy for the gar home gardener to grow. If you've never grown foxglove, it's considered a biennial. Uh, it's almost a perennial. It comes back. What it does, Tamara, is you let that thing flower mm -hmm. and then it drops seed and those seed are going to come back year after year. Oh, you can see them in my garden. Oh my gosh. And, and they really are easy to grow. Just look at the color on that. Look at that. And I love and, the height that you well, that's. Too. I'm so glad you pointed that out because it's that statuesque, that tall, elegant uh, look. I discovered these from a friend who was growing them and said, come here, man, you got to see these new foxgloves we've got. And I go, oh, please, <laughs> please, I need some of those seed. I want to grow those. Yeah. And so th they offered them to me, and that's how I'm able to offer them on HSN today. Wow. And they, they're really outstanding. You can just see the color range. Okay, yeah. so, so share with us. So this is going to be great um, if I have maybe an area that really needs some height, needs some color. Right. It, you can pocket plant them. They can do great in containers. Uh, what I like to do, um, it's a mid-border plant. If you've got a flower bed, you want something mid-range, you yeah. want to plant something in the foreground, this is the perfect plant. Okay. And look, the plants arrive like this. Oh, this is that? This is that. Oh, my gosh. And they grow so fast. Look at these. These are just a couple of weeks older than these. This is really simple. Okay. And all you're going to do is you're just going to work them into the soil and mm -hmm. set that little guy in there and pull the soil around. And I like to talk to my plants. Yeah. You're gonna grow, right? You're gonna yeah, be you're so gonna beautiful. Be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and they love that. And you just get them nestled in like that. You want good loose soil. Yeah. And then work them in. And they are so easy to grow. People cannot believe. I first saw these in England years mm -hmm. ago in like a mass, and I was like, ugh, be oh, still wow. my heart. Wow. It was so gorgeous. Oh, I can only imagine. Let me let me show. And then um, I want to show you the, uh, the the map, the, the growing map that we've All right, got. Zone map. And yeah. talk talk to right. us about. 
about this? Well, this Fox Club will, it has a wide range of growth. I mean, all the way from really northern Florida all the way up to, well, Minnesota and southern Canada. Okay. So it's a very wide-ranging plant. Nice. It goes beautiful in California mm -hmm. because it loves those cool nights mm -hmm. that it gets there. And uh, again, what you're going to do is you're going to have these beautiful spikes this year come up. What I like to do is let them set seed and let them drop seed, and those will come up the next year, uh, volunteers we call it, and so you'll constantly have these foxgloves coming up once you wow. get them started. And, yeah. then, and so talk to us, you, you were showing you that these are good for full sun or par partial sun? Yeah, what I like to do is give them either half day sun okay. or full sun, okay? Okay. So if you've got a situation like that, these are going to be ideal for that, mm -hmm. yeah. And you can see again, they get to a nice height up to four feet, which is great. You can see that you do want to spread them out so they've got some space to grow. Yeah, I like to plant them about three feet, well, about two and a half, uh, well, two feet apart for a big, for impact. You can see, look at the size of the leaves. In yes. just a few weeks, they really begin to grow. So, you know, you can imagine staging three of these together. Mm -hmm. And in the offer that we have, you get one of each color. So right. if you really want to bolt it up and mm -hmm. add a lot of different ones of one color, get a couple of offers and plant them together. I love that visual impact. That's what really looks gorgeous in the garden. Absolutely. You're seeing four of them, but remember you're getting a pink, this beautiful orchid color purple, and the blush. We mm -hmm. just happen to have two of the pinks out here. We do. And then you've got the salmon down and there the at salmon. the end. Yeah, yes. which is, I, to me, is just the killer. I mean, it's just the one I'm like, ah, I the, love that thing. The, the, what's What makes these so extra special is that Alan grew these, Alan cultivated these, he um, curated these, um, but because they are from nature, it's not something that we can grow on an assembly line. There's not 10,000 of them. There are actually only a handful, not only of the foxgloves, but of everything that you're gonna see this morning, including lilies. We've got lilies coming. We've got oh, lilies to add to it. This is perfect for the cottage garden. If you love that romantic cottage garden, you gotta have foxglove. Right. And we've got lilies coming up, yeah. and we've got peonies, and we've got some gorgeous stuff that are gonna really give you that old fashioned look. And the iris, oh, oh, when you I see that. So this is how you can start to create a blend in your yes. garden. Okay. Well, it's definitely that cottage garden look, Tamara. It really is. Yeah. And just see, and just one more question on those. Um, how much water would I put on those? These like medium water. You know, they don't want to stand in water. But what you want is you want them to have consistent moisture. Okay. Okay. Consistent moisture. So stay on the phone for those. Those are the fox gloves. You're getting all three of those beautiful colors. Those are not. You're not going to see those in the big box stores. No. These are extra special, and I love that we're starting off with those you've got them on two flex payments of $12.48 they will ship when they are when it's time for you to plant them in your area so even if you're going through a nor'easter no worries <laughs> right they're not going to come to or <laughs> no you. not when there's snow on the ground <laughs> right, right. <laughs> they okay. arrive at the correct time so we we've, we've got more from Moss Mountain that um, Alan Smith has brought along with us the Moss Mountain farm this is the three piece double flowering day lily set Again, brand new. Oh, and, I know. Oh, gosh. I'm, I'm telling you, they, they drive me crazy. Do? <laughs> well, they're, these are peony flower daylilies. If you love peonies, I love peonies. this daylily, look at, look at the pictures here I brought. Isn't that one gorgeous? Oh, my goodness. Look at that, that one. Look at this one. This one's called Ridiculous. It's red, but look at the double flowering on it. Oh, look at wow. this one. Oh, that's what you mean by double flower. They look like a peony, not a daylily. Oh, wow. And these things will bloom their hearts out, and they are so easy easy to grow. You need half day sun to full day sun, Tamara, okay. for them to work. But I, I have collected these doubles because people walk through the garden at Moss Mountain Farm and they go, what is that? And I go, it's a daylily. And they go, you're crazy. And I, that's a peony. And I go, yeah. no, 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 no. It is a daylily. Oh, my goodness. And we're, are we getting all three colors? You're getting all three colors of this offer. Oh, The plants wow. arrive in a container this size. Mm -hmm. They're fully rooted out. I mean, they are just fantastic. And these things will bloom this year. Look at the roots on that thing. Okay. Isn't that gorgeous? That, that, that Big, is, yeah. 
Look at those oh, yeah. fresh white roots, just fantastic. And then each one of these fans will produce a scape with blooms on the top of it, all right? Okay. So this is a particular, you know, if you're a gardener, you know that daylilies are one of the easiest things to grow, mm -hmm. okay? okay? And so, but this double, these doubles that are peony flowered daylilies mm -hmm. are really hard to find. Mm -hmm. And when you group those in your garden, people see, I mean, you know, I love to walk out with a little cup of coffee and yes. watch these things bloom in the oh. morning. They're just so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Let me just share with you, again, brand new. I know that, like we said, you're not gonna see these or these kinds of things in a big box store. Look at that. That could be this your garden. This is at the farm. These are at my farm and people walk by and they just fall out over oh, them, Tamara. wow. And look at the double flowers on them. Oh and that's grown gosh. from a daylily. Alan, and, these are gorgeous. Yeah, I, well, thank you, thank you. you I, you know, and, and this is the care instruction, too. Again, like you said, full sun. Full sun. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, they like well-drained soil. Okay. Uh, but if you've got an area in your garden that you need that little extra pop, if you want to create a border along the front by your front door, if you want to put these around the mailbox, these are perfect problem solver plants because I'm going to tell you, Tamara, daylilies are the easiest perennial. Perennial meaning they're going to come back year after year. Once you get these things planted, they're going to come back for 10 years. 15 years. Really? Absolutely. And do they spread? Yes, they, they clump up. They don't like take over the garden. Okay, okay. <laughs> they, they will clump up and, and they'll make big massive groups like this. And the older they get, the more flowers they produce. Oh yeah. my gosh. You can even divide them and give them to friends or yes. give them to your daughter or granddaughter and this get them amazing. started into gardening. Mm -hmm. yeah. this, this really is a great opportunity. If you know, I love flowers. I love the gardens but I, but I'll ask you Alan because I'm not I wouldn't call myself experienced in the garden you know what I mean Tamara you're gonna do fine with these okay I'm okay. sending some home with you okay. I want a full report okay. these are really really easy to grow I'm okay. serious so you're giving me confidence that I can oh, do it absolutely you can do it yeah. yeah you just get these things planted in the ground you want full sun okay right. and of course you want to fertilize them along the year I mean you know to produce blooms like this I mean come on you got to be fed right. you know I mean these are outrageous flowers yeah and um, so I, I I, I can't I can't say enough about this particular offer and these varieties that we've we found because they are they're just well over the years they've just performed so well for us. They are fantastic. I'm glad that you are having an opportunity to get them. Remember, you're getting all three of the colors. You, these are spring prices. These are on flex pay if you want to go ahead and utilize that. It's a double flowering day lily. So when people, when neighbors stop you <laughs> yeah. and ask you what is that you'll know and just so you know care instructions do come along with everything that you're getting yes we do I, yeah. I want people to understand the best way to plant these yeah. so they get but look at those blooms I mean come on oh my goodness they're just ruffles and ruffles of no. and layers yeah. of petals <laughs> so, and the fact you know what I love to they look like a party dress they do. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you, you plant them once and like you said they come back year after year they after do. year they do we're big on perennials mm -hmm. because that is the easiest way to have a beautiful garden. Yeah. I want things that come back year after year that I don't have to fuss around. Okay. And then I can add some annuals and I can accent it as I need to. Yeah. But having those perennials that are coming back and I can count on them, man, that really works. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So I do see a lot of you on the phone, which is so great. And I am <laughs> glad that you are thinking about spring because spring is officially here, even if it doesn't feel like it outside. But don't forget that these will ship to you in your geography when it's time yeah, so you're correct. not going to have right. an, you know three inches of snow on the ground <laughs> and your panic. flowers at the front door right. yeah don't pa panic on that <laughs> so that, that's the ship those are the shipping yeah. dates in your zone so you can see exactly where you are so you'll know when they're coming but the idea is go ahead and reserve yours now well, it's an investment. Yeah. I mean, you, you're really investing in your property mm -hmm. by adding these perennials that come back, and you're not going to have to go out and spend every year right. for these kinds of things. That's the way I look at it. As much as we have to garden at our farm, mm -hmm. I really lean on these solid, easy, easy to grow and dependable plants that I don't have to fuss around, and they come back year after year. Look at this. How yeah. did you discover a love 
of gardening. And well, I love beauty, yeah. and beauty is so, we need more beauty in our lives, and that's why I want to share these, these collections, because they've been so successful for me, and I want them to be successful for other people. And that's important, too. When Alan and I were talking earlier, he, he wanted to make sure that we imparted upon you that these are easy. You're going to get a beautiful bloom. And yeah. we want you to be successful in your garden. We don't want you to spend a lot of time and energy and then uh, it didn't happen, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe you've done that in the past with plants that you've bought in other places. But these, as you can see, the beauty is on the way and it's very easy to get to. And look at that, that's what you have in store. Well, look at the, look at the bud set. That's what you wanna look at with a daylily. Look at the number of those buds. Each day, one of those flowers opens. That's the beauty of the daylily. Yeah, and that's exciting that's too when you go out and you see, oh, I see, yeah. I see it happening. Yeah. But they're just, they're just, all the flower, the petals on them is just what, you know, kills me. And, right. And they look like, they look like a peony flower. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So you're getting three of them. You're getting all, all three of these colors, so you're not having to choose. And if you already got um, the, uh, the, the first uh, variety that we shared with you. Yeah, the fox the, glove. The fox glove. Right. It would be nice if you want to go ahead and blend those, you know, in the same garden. And These play well together, and that's okay. a very good point, Tamara. Okay. What the, the selection that I've chosen, the daylily, the foxglove, these all are great for that, that par partial day sun. Uh, okay. to full sun okay. and uh, they make the great sort of gorgeous cottage garden. We love yeah. that and yeah. we're, we're helping you get there. We do have free shipping on select lawn and garden and uh, you can just search hsn.com and type in outdoor because a lot of you like to shop on online so if you're already there go ahead and check that out as well. I cannot wait to hear about <laughs> the Stella de Oro. Oh she little Stella. Little, it, Stella. little Stella is the is the biggest selling daylily of all time. Okay. And the reason why yeah. is she blooms all the time. Really? Little Stella. And Little Stella makes a great ground cover. So I'm yeah. always looking for solutions, okay? okay? Okay. Solutions for our customer. Okay. And what I love about Stella is that it's a perennial. So she's gonna come back for 10, 15 years. Oh my goodness. Longer than that, depending on how. And just look at the pictures of her. So Stella's your new best friend. So, well, I, I love <laughs> Stella because she's a great entry day lily okay yeah. if you've never grown flowers this is the one to start with okay. they are indestructible okay and is this Stella this is Stella now what you're gonna get 25 Stella oh my okay gosh. 25 Stella's yeah. will cover 64 square feet I plant them as a mass ground cover two feet apart okay and I, I just want to point out these gorgeous gorgeous plants Look at that. Look at all of those shoots coming out of there. Look at those healthy roots. Wow. Tamara, look at that. You just spread those out, bring the soil up to them. Every one of those shoots is gonna put out a fan, and from that fan, you are going to get blooms. Wow. And and the and this this daylily, what's what made her famous is she's reblooming blooms all summer long. Oh my okay? goodness. And, and to me, the reason I'm offering 25 of these yes. at a buck a piece, yeah. you know, is because you can do a mass, look at that picture, you can do a mass planting of them. Oh. Those clumps started with one plant, oh Tamara. Oh my gosh. One plant. What, wait, and you're getting 25 of them. 25 of them. What I would do is I'd take yeah. 20 of them and put them in my flower bed, and I'd take five of them and put them in containers. Okay. Bec oh. On the patio, because yeah. they look gorgeous in containers. And what I love about little Stella is she only grows about this high. Okay. Okay, so you don't have a real tall flower. Mm -hmm. You have something that's great across the front of the flower border. Mm -hmm. So you can see here in these photographs, uh, that's the bloom itself. And then here, you can see the size of the the flower on them, but they make a mid-range border here. This is with a little um, pincushion flower in the foreground, but but she she plays well with others. That's yeah. what I like about Stella. Oh my, I love so, that she, you know, she she really does bloom and she, and that's beautiful yellow color is amazing. Just so you know, again, you're getting all 25 of them. They can, it, you know, it's always best if you are planting them in your garden, but just as Alan said, if you do want to put some of these in containers, you can do that as well, and you're going to have that beauty all over. And these are the kinds of things, like I said, that you just don't see in the big box stores. And I know because I've been to them. I've walked through their garden centers 
and struggled to find something. Well, you're not going to find them for a dollar a piece. No, you're not. Well, I'm and look at the look at that root. I mean, that mm -hmm. is that is full potential right there. And you just set that out into some soil and bring the soil level just up to where, just right where those little tips are coming out, just like right. that, okay? And okay. that's all you have to do, water them in, and boom, and they're off it. and going. And just, again, if you're not a gardener, and you're not experienced, these are this is the root, this is the part that goes under the dirt. <laughs> right. yeah, that's right. <laughs> Don't plant the whole thing, because I, I would do that. But, but <laughs> in so many other, other uh, you know, you, you get these small one fan, but look at that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine fans in mm -hmm. one clump, and you're getting 25 of these things. Wow. So see, you could, and some people do, split yeah. these apart and go, oh, well, you know, and then we'll cut this in part. Uh -huh. So we'll get five out of this. No, you're getting the full clump. Wow. And that's what I want you to have because I want you to have that impact. Yeah. That's what you want in a garden. You want yeah. that visual impact. So that is one clump. That that's was one, that started right. out as yeah. one of these clumps, oh, Tamara. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to go for it. I'm so glad that we've got these for you at the start <laughs> of spring so that you can be ready for your garden. And for a lot of us, I mean, this is what we wait for. We, this, you know, we've suffered through a long, cold, miserable winter. And that's what we wait for in the spring for all of the flowers to come and bloom and throughout the summer and to see that beauty. It doesn't take a lot of hard extra work. You've got the right plants. They've been cultivated properly and they're gonna work for you. Well, you think about your garden. You know, all of us have a space where we're going, okay, full sun, what can I put in here? What's yeah. easy? What's gonna come back here after a year? Yeah. And Stella's the answer. Yeah. Because you get that you you get that bloom throughout the entire season. We had these blooming as late as late October. Okay? Really? So little Stella kicks into gear in May for us and blooms all the way well into early November. Stella's a strong one. Uh, I know she, I see why little you Little Stella, so you can't beat her. <laughs> you gotta, everybody ought to have little Stella in their garden. I love little Stella packs <laughs> a punch. And that's yeah. what I want you to call her when you plant her. I want you to call her little Stella. Little Stella number one, yeah. number two, and all the way up to number 25. Because <laughs> that's you're right. getting 25 I love that. of these. When do you get 25? Uh, at, at, at a dollar a piece that's going to give you starts off like this mm. and grows to this. Yeah. Times 25. Yeah. It just doesn't They just happen. build over time. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. That's yeah. what's great about these perennials. And mm -hmm. that's what I say. You know, we've got so much area that we have to cover. That's why I feel like these are so good yeah. for our gardeners, our friends out there right. who are looking for solutions. And that's what we're, I'm trying to give them is something right. that will answer those questions for them. So okay. anyway, yeah. It's okay. So I, I, again, I see a lot of you on the phone. If you are near your computer, you can shop on hsn.com because that is gonna be your quickest way to get in. These are all brand new. Alan does have several other shows over the next couple of days. But the it, thing is, he didn't bring 10,000 of anything. He didn't bring no, 5,000 of anything. Yeah. These are very limited because they are extra special, and especially because they come from your farm. Well, yeah, and you know, I mean, come on, 25 of these things mm -hmm. for that price? I mean, mm -hmm. you know, we can't, we can't offer a million of them. I so, know. you know, I so know. we, I want to get people started with some of these great performing perennials. Yes. Where they're not having a plant every year. Yeah. What I call these are the mainstays of the garden, okay? Okay. They're there. You don't have to worry about them year after year. You know they're coming back. And then you accent it, mm -hmm. like in the pictures with the purple flowers. That's yeah. a little pincushion flower. There are other things you can add. Yeah. Okay, so I know we have to move on. There's so much we want to show you. Uh, as, as oh, we're here to make I gardens know, beautiful. I know. Bring I'm, beauty into your life. And you are the one to do it. You <laughs> are the you. one to do it. Thank I mean, you. when you consider that Alan literally has his hand on the pulse of what is amazing for our gardens and he's been all over the world he's a television host he's been on you know major morning shows you've probably seen him and his flowers featured um, on television and it's so great that now you can have them in your own garden and right here you're looking at lilies of the field yeah you're getting 10 of these um, and these are brand new. These are spring price as well. And you also have uh, three flex payments on them. Okay, let's talk about the lilies. Okay, in the world. what I, the reason I put this together, Tamara, is because these are, you can cut these. They're perennials. They're mm -hmm. gonna come back every year in your garden and you can cut them. 
All right, so what I would love for people to do is to think about not just one collection, but by two or three, and then group those together, and then have some that are blooming in the garden, but also be able to cut them and bring them inside because they are so fragrant. Oh, wow. The fragrance yeah. from these is really incredible. <laughs> and what I've done is I've got, what we have here are five different colors, okay? okay? And they bloom at slightly different times. You've got pictures of them here because mm -hmm. you can't get them all to bloom at the same time right. for, the, for the show. Okay. But this gives everybody a lineup of what these look like. This one is called African Queen, which I love because it's got that melon color mm -hmm. flavor. That's flavor. Right, right. <laughs> Melon color to it, which is so beautiful. And I love that kind of apricot color. But you've got a range of color here, and you've got a range of bloom time, mm -hmm. which is so important, okay? Okay. And then these will come back year after year. Wow. Okay? We have had some of these in our garden at the farm now for nine years, okay? Wow. They come back. They've been, can be coming for nine years. The yellow one that you see there at the bottom of the screen is called yellow wean. Yellow wean grows six feet tall, Tamara. Oh my God. These goodness. are not wimpy lilies, okay? <laughs> These are strong. Look at that. Look at the beauty of those things. Wow. And people walk by, and there's yellow wean. Oh look look my at gosh. the height on that thing. And cutting those and bringing them in the house. I mean, and these oh. are so easy to grow. Now, what you want to do is you want to give them full sun okay. to partial shade. They can take a half a day sun, okay? This okay. is important. I want everybody to remember this. Mm -hmm. Half a day sun to full sun, okay? Mm -hmm. You want to make sure the soil drains really well. Lilies do not like wet feet. Okay. <laughs> Lilies do not like wet feet, okay? All right. These are true garden lilies, and I've brought examples of the bulbs of each one of these okay. to show you. And you can see what's important in buying lilies is you want that fleshy, fresh root on there. Mm -hmm. It's not like buying a tulip bulb that has no roots on it, but feel how healthy that feels, yeah, okay? Yeah. And look at that bud. Mm -hmm. That will produce a stalk with those gorgeous blooms on it. That's what's so amazing about this collection. Every one of these will bloom this year. And here's the deal. Yeah. They just get bigger and bigger every year. Just wow. this past weekend on, yeah. on Saturday, we took one clump that I had for five years. Tamara, it was already this big. I divided it in four <laughs> ways oh and took those and put them in other parts of the garden. Yeah. Yeah. So wow. that's that's how prolific they are. And that's why you say these are an investment in your garden. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah. let me ask Thanks you. for reminding me of that's that. Right. It's so true. And, and I look forward to them every year. I mean, they're like friends. They come oh. back year after year. And you know, when I lived in England, I, I would go through these gardens and I would smell mm -hmm. the, the redolence, just the, the gorgeous aroma that would be wafting through these gardens. And I, what is that? And it was these oriental these lilies. Lilies. Uh, are, oh. Yeah, and the colors. And I know for so many people, lilies are their favorites. Uh, you know, could you imagine having your favorite, being able to go out to your garden mm -hmm. and cut yeah. your lilies and bring them into this your home? This is a home? classic cut flower. Oh, yeah. You're, you're so right, Tamara. This is a classic cut flower. And what we've done is we've tried to really have a range of color here mm -hmm. so it can work in different colors of your room. So yeah. maybe your theme is pink, maybe it's yellow. Right. Where you can have these and use them, you know, put them in your kitchen window. What I like to do is have them planted where you can see them from the house. Yeah. You can enjoy them inside, you can enjoy them outside. That's the beauty of this collection. And, and enjoy them out in the garden. And then when you want to, you can go out and cut some and maybe make them as part of your wedding bouquet or the bouquet of your granddaughter. You know, um, I've seen so many, you know, I I pictures of weddings where the bouquet is just fresh cut lilies, yep. a little, a can beautiful ribbon, these? and that's it. Yeah, can you imagine those as a bouquet? Oh I mean, wouldn't gosh. that be gorgeous? And your own. These you know? are, all of these offers, whether it's the foxglove, whether it's the Stella Dioras, yeah. whether it's these lilies, these are great Mother's Day presents. They really are. And now is the time to get it again, because now is the time, it's spring, we're getting you ready to start to, to think about spring. And again, it doesn't matter what's going on and the weather on the outside of your window. Spring is here and these are the things that we look forward to. We're going to show you the shipping dates on the um, zone map that you see right there. So we're not going to ship them to you until 
it, they're ready to be planted in your area. Absolutely. And you can get these snuggled in and they begin to root. These roots take off very quickly. Mm -hmm. They emerge and then they bloom. And the, what this is the key, fragrance. Yeah. I'm always looking for fragrance in my garden. Mm -hmm. And so many plants that have been developed over the years, Tamara, don't have fragrance. And yeah. these do. Why is that? Why well, we because they're trying to get a bigger bloom size. They're trying to get something that'll ship well so they can get it to a big box store. Uh. And it doesn't get too tall. Yeah. But I like a big, tall lily that's got a great fragrance yes. that's going to really fill the whole garden space with that wonderful aroma. Yeah. That's what we're missing, and that's what we need in our gardens. We that's need so more beauty in our lives. That's so interesting. I'm glad that you mentioned that, too, because for a lot, I, I never knew why you smell something, and it's like it's pretty, but I, I don't smell anything. Right? Yeah, right. So well, now we know. Because they're breeding more for height because you can ship them easier. And these are, that's why I want people to grow them for bulbs and yes. have them there. These are legacy plants. These are the kinds right. of things you pass down Absolutely. to your to your your daughter your granddaughter right yeah and that's why there aren't a million of them available that's why there are not thousands of them available because these were grown properly to allow you to have actual real beauty not just it's, it's sort of like all of the senses yeah you know well, it does. the sight of it the yeah. smell of it the, t the touch yeah, of it yeah just the, the touch of it these yes. petals are just so beautiful yeah. and so, we cut the stamens off and that's mm -hmm. one little tip that i do whenever i bring them in mm -hmm. because you don't want the pollen to get on your clothes mm -hmm. and so you just clip those little stamens off okay. and then you can use them as a cut flower in the house i'm gonna do that <laughs> <laughs> okay and let me ask you again so when i plant these right. I'm, am i just planting this part or the whole bowl you're going to bring the soil level up what i would do is i'd put a about three inches of soil over the top of that. Oh. And this little guy is gonna come right up, it follows the sun. So I would plant this about this deep with about three inches from the top of the bulb, okay? okay? And then these roots will grow out like this and this plant will, will persist. Again, don't plant it where you've got soggy, wet soil. It needs to be soil that drains well and these things will come back okay. for decades. Wow. Oh, again, a legacy plant. You're, you are truly making an investment in your garden because you'll plant them. They will get bigger year after year. And then if you do want to spread them to other parts of your garden, that's your option. They're completely up to you and you're getting all five of these amazing colors yeah. of the lilies. Well, and Yellowween, the one we saw pictures of from the from our, our farm, you know, it grows six feet plus. I mean, come on, six feet plus. <laughs> these things don't require any staking. They have really oh. big, strong, we've never had to stake them. Oh my gosh. I, I have to reach up to cut them. Yeah. <laughs> they get so big. <laughs> I mean, when you consider, because I mean, they're as tall as you are. Oh yeah. Yeah, wow. I to, I'm, I'm reaching up. Yeah. I'm, I'm reaching up for them to cut them. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Okay. Yeah. So you can have a wall, a hedge of lilies. Oh, <laughs> can you imagine all these beautiful <laughs> colors? Okay, I know that we do have to move on because we've got more to share with you, but I do want to make sure that you go ahead and order. These are 603-304. That's the number yeah. to get I, those lilies home, and you're getting 10 of them. I want people to have these in their gardens. I really do. I really do. All right, um, we've got a few more that I wanted to share with you. And we've got big color coming up with these hookahs. Oh, wow. Okay, so oh, I'm glad you uh, share that with it's me. It's also called a coral bell. Okay. Now, so, this is a very special offer. Okay. And what's lovely about these is the foliage. And I've selected three different three different colorways okay. for, for our, our gardener friends. Mm -hmm. And look at the leaves on these, Tamara. Look at that, look at the color. This is a great plant for shade. Everybody goes, I've got shade, what can I grow? I want color and shade. What What is there, Alan? Come on, come on, what can I grow? Well, hookra is an answer. Okay. And some of these varieties are absolutely fantastic. And I pick three that are really great growers for us. One which is very much a dark, almost a raspberry, color look mm -hmm. at this look at that look at the veining in that leaf it's mm -hmm. just absolutely it's a work of art it I mean is. it's all God's work look at that That's it's right. just just beautiful and then look at this one over here this mm -hmm. is much more of a of a of sort of a brick red right. apricot color going on here which I think is really terrific and these all go well uh, they, they play well with hosta okay uh, for that shade garden the shade. and, and then, then the third they, one we're going to show you the, the third color there the third Third one is more of a bronze color. Look at that. And isn't that gorgeous? And look at these little tiny airy 
flowers that come off of them. This is a great ground cover solution. I love seeing these planted along the edge of a path. Um, this is a plant, as I mentioned, that brings color, 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 color yeah. to containers. Yes. So if you're looking for something for a container uh -huh. that where you've got a patio that doesn't get full sun, man, this is the one you really need. Okay, and you're getting all three of them. I, it, that was just a very quick presentation. I wanted to make sure you yeah. had a chance to go ahead and get yeah. those because... Well, I wanted yeah. to squeeze it in. Yeah. I, I really wanted them to have this. For sure, and many yeah. of you were asking about what is something that I can grow in the shade. Now, you can check out even more from Moss M Mountain Farm on hsn.com, and that's P. Allen Smith right there, literally walking you through step by step. Yep. Look at all of the varieties that are available to you. So it's very easy for you to shop there. And imagine, you can plan your entire garden just scrolling through and saying, I want that, I want that, I want that. We'll ship it right to you at the right time with all of the care instructions so that um, if you, you know, when you are ready for your garden, yeah. it's ready for you. That's right. We've right. had such a good time. I know. Absolutely co collecting and curating this collection. I'm glad. But we're not finished yet. We've got one more that we're going to share with you in this hour. And then um, you're going to see Alan tomorrow um, at 9 a.m. so that you'll see more there. But yeah. take a look here. We call this Hosta by the Handful. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. It's another great offer. This is a problem solver, Tamara. Uh -huh. Okay. Everybody complains about what do I plant in the shade. Yeah. These Hosta will come back year after year and make big, beautiful clumps. Okay. And this is Hosta by the Handful. And what I want to do is I want to show all the different leaf forms that you get. Variegation, blue gray, more variegation here with a little more white, mm -hmm. another very sort of beautiful blue gray here with this particular hosta. Yeah. And what we've done is we've demonstrated how you can plant them in mass okay. across the front here in the planter. Mm -hmm. The idea here is you've got 25 of these hosta wow. roots. Look at that. Look at these. These are nice, beautiful clumps. Right. Look at this clump. I, I, I want you to look how close, look closely and see Every one of these buds is going to produce a shoot like this. Wow. Okay, in just several weeks, these things will root in and look, feel how healthy those they roots are. are. That's what I was Isn't that noticing. fabulous? Oh, yeah. wow, yeah. Big, long roots, and what you That's can do, flexible. you can let the, lay these out two feet apart. This will cover 64 square feet, oh my gosh. okay? <laughs> Who doesn't have a shady area they're scratching their head over? Mm -hmm. What am I gonna do with it? Mm -hmm. And the fact that these come back year after year, <laughs> and what I like and what I did is I selected Hosta by the Handful, a mixture. Look at the, the plantings here. Okay. That's all these these hostas that we have planted, yeah. different types, so you get, it's a tapestry. So we, you, we want to blend the types, we don't want one one kind of leaf here, one kind of leaf I there. like to mix it up, create a tapestry, make a walk, like look at this walk, oh, line your wow. walk, you've got shade, shade is not a problem, shade shouldn't be a liability, shade yeah. should be an asset. Yeah. And so by using these hosta and just planting them, they're so <laughs> easy to plant, I mean, mm -hmm. you're literally just pulling the soil back and you're just laying these roots in like this, and then you're just pulling the soil up around it and snuggling it in where the, the tops of those little shoots are just showing. Okay. You put a little mulch around it, you're done. You're done oh. for years. Oh my gosh, that couldn't be easier. And they keep, <laughs> and look, they make a big clump like this, and these clumps keep getting larger, yeah. and then eventually you can split them up and move them to other parts of the garden, or you can give them to a friend. Yeah. You know, it's a pass-along plant. These hostas are amazing, and what I love about them is you're creating a texture, and it's solving a problem. What do I do in that shady area mm -hmm. that I just can't get anything to grow? There's not enough light, mm -hmm. and I'm tired of planting it year after year. Mm -hmm. You know. And now you've got it. These just you can see how healthy they are. Look at the color of them, and you're getting four different varieties. You're getting 25 total. We're going to show you again. This is if you've got um, shade. This is what you want. The height varies, which is good. It does. Yeah, because you then want it gives that. you that look. And these um, do reach full maturation, two to eight growing seasons. So think about this. Just like Alan said, you plant it once. You don't have to worry about it again. I want you to look at the size of these clumps. I'm so proud of what we produce at the farm. They work so hard to produce. These are all American grown. 
I mean, this, these are coming out of the field and they're beautiful. Wow. Just beautiful. Let me ask you, because we're getting some Look at it, it's just getting ready to pop. Look at yeah, that. They're ready. They're yeah. like, you know, prime and ready to go. It's spring. I want out. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> How are these with, with animals? Are these safe for animals? Yes. Okay. Haas is not a problem. We've grown them for years. We've got dogs all over the farm. Mm -hmm. We've got cats. Mm -hmm. We have Marge. Marge the cat. <laughs> Marge. No problems at all. Smudge and squeak. They don't bother them. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. we have to get pictures of Duncan those Duncan and Miss Chatty. Oh my gosh, what do you have? Oh, boy, a whole bunch. You've got to come. Well, it is a farm. <laughs> it <so>. is, right. <laughs> but, but the thing about it is, is what I'm looking for are solutions for people that where it's they're going to get beauty, it brings beauty to their life, and they're yes. not having to work so hard to have their garden look great. I want this stuff coming back in your garden. Yes. And that's what these plants will do. They're perennials. Absolutely. Yeah. And while you're ordering, because we do only have a couple more minutes, we're going to take a phone call, if you will. Yeah. This is uh, Connie's calling us from Ohio. Connie, oh. welcome to HSN. Connie's up early. Yeah. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm a nighttime person, but I never thought I would have P. Ellen Smith on HSN oh, selling you hi, flowers. Connie. Can you believe it? Okay, Connie. Um, okay, so you're familiar with um, P. Ellen Smith, and it looks like you order oh, the lilies of the field. Yeah, so it, yes, always have watched the shows, but our garden club, I started here in Clyde, Ohio. Wow. in 2011 uh -huh. and we're still going strong everything i see i'm going to be ordering to utilize throughout our downtown with um the flowers especially the lilies that have the set to them we're looking for stuff to put in our planters in our downtown in front of our businesses wow. so when you walk in and out you get that scent that that's smell a great of something. idea that is a great idea and so connie you are part of a special group that beautifies your neighborhood, your downtown area. We That's love wonderful. Yes, we love people like you. Yeah. yeah. And we're and we're part of the American Bloom family this year, so I am just so, so excited knowing oh. that I'm gonna have part of P. Allen Smith on our downtown this year. <laughs> so, Can you believe way to go. Great, great. That's wonderful. And I, and I can't wait, especially the hostas I'm looking at. We were gonna do a great big hosta bed this year. Mm -hmm. Good. We have a we're gonna put them in our storybook garden that we utilize on our bike trail. Connie, wow. that's so wonderful. I, I and She's I have so to civic minded. Say, yeah. Yeah, I have to say that this has always been one of my goals to ever talk to you. <laughs> I love it. Well, Connie, you come great. see us at so. the farm, and a lot of these will work very well in some of your parks and some of the civic work you're doing. Yes. That's heartwarming that it she is. and her garden club, Connie, are there planting for everybody to enjoy. I right. love that. Connie, thank you so much. And um, we really do appreciate you and the entire club as well. And send pictures, too, because yeah, next time spread Alan the, is here, I'm sure he's going to want to see Spread the it. beauty, Connie. Keep it up. Definitely. People need to more beauty in their life. And, and this is, you know what, it's a fun way to do it. It's um, a way that you can, you know, if it, this is just a hobby of yours, you love to garden, it's something that you can look forward to. Or if it's something that you do along with your family and friends, there's a sense of pride yeah. in growing something and seeing the yeah. result of it. Uh, there, there really is. There's just a, I don't know, it's good for the soul to yeah. see this stuff come up and grow and look at it every day and say, I had a part in that. And you yeah. just see this miracle. And it's so, it's spring. Come on, let's plant. No, Alan, thank you so much. I've loved it, Tamara. I you're know, the me best. Too. Thank you. Yeah, thank this you. is fun. I, um, I, the next time you're here, I'm going to tell you about some things that I've grown too. <laughs> okay. I, I hope everything works out. I know. It will. Hey, you, I'm a phone call away. Okay. <laughs> stay with us. Stay on the phone for anything that you've seen. Or you can also go to hsn.com as well if you'd yeah. like to order. We'll have them up there. For sure. Yeah. Thank you. And, and you'll see um, P. Allen Smith again a little bit later on for the 9 a.m. show. Let me share with you, too, because a lot of you are shopping on hsn.com. You can check out our hot item, and we do change it often, so always check back so that you can see what's hot and what's going on right there on hsn.com. And if beauty is what you're looking for, you're gonna find it right there. Now, we do have more for you. We talk, The show is called Lawn and Garden, so we are gonna go out to the garden in just a few moments. I wanna check in with a quick spotlight and share more with you.
Don't miss a thing with our HSN app, available on Apple and Android devices. Get $10 off your first in-app purchase with code WELCOME10. Opt in to push notifications for early access to exclusive app-only deals. Shop faster than ever with exclusive new product videos, only on the iPhone. Watch HSN Live anytime, anyplace. And the new shop and search features make finding your favorites easier than ever. Search app on hsn.com to download. joy. I'm a mother. That's first and foremost. I'm curious, always curious. I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I'm an inventor. So when I'm designing product, it's all about making everyday life simpler. I guess that's just how I look at things. I find a lot of inspiration from just living my everyday life. And I think, boy, every day's a gift. Make joyful discoveries every day. Best in Beauty Week is back with colorful new ideas and straight up favorites. The latest from brands you'll only find here and exclusives from favorites you love like Benefit, Elizabeth Arden, Smashbox, Virtue, Lorac, and many more. Come back every day for a limited time steal up to 50% off and get four flex pay on all beauty all week long. Best in Beauty Week only on hsn.com. and garden and we've got something really really great for you so when you are doing your planting and you want to make it extra special we've got the perfect containers for you and you're looking at them and you're getting a set of two these are from field smith and all you do is decide do you want the 10 inch which is a little bit smaller that's the one that i have right here or do you want the 15 inch which is the bigger one bigger one means bigger more plants a bigger look you can hang them either inside your home, outside, wherever you choose to be, you know, to have them. And you can plant so much and it is so simple. We're gonna share this with you. Um, just so you know, you, if you get the 10 inch, it's gonna be black or terracotta are your choices. If you get the 15 inch, you've got your choice of black, turquoise, white, or terracotta, okay? Carrie Mobley's joining us and she's gonna Hi. help us out for the rest of the hour. How are you? I'm good. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite time of year. I'm a gardener, it's what I love to do. And one of the main reasons that I love hanging baskets so much is because they're easy. Yeah. You don't have to clear out a spot in your yard and they give a nice pop of color. And I love that you're getting two of them, um, but Traditionally, there have been some problems with baskets, right? I think for a lot of people, because they tend to dry out quicker, yeah. you end up having um, a basket that, uh, you know, isn't quite so pretty. So, for example, this might be yeah. what you're used to. Been there. Well, I want to introduce <laughs> you to the most incredible hanging basket of all time. Check this out, okay? I'm just going to give you a real quick tour, and then I'm actually going to build them here just to show you how easy. Right here in the bottom, we have about a one-inch trough that extra water will be saved and stored in there so it kind of gives you a little wiggle room but I want you to notice the great thing are all of these little doors here and what that's going to do is that's going to help bring the important things that plants need and that is air mm -hmm. and it needs nutrients and it needs water so the way I'm going to build these everything is going to happen right here and then we're going to get 360 degrees mm -hmm. of flowers so mm -hmm. let me just get started here okay so you, all you need is some potting soil you know I like to use my hands. I mean, yeah. they're always just getting nasty. Um, but you know, it is what it is. It's part of what I love. Hey, gardeners understand. Thank you. Thank right. you. And so then really all you're going to do is just take a plant and whatever it is that you like, and we're going to go from the outside in. And what that's going to do is it's going to keep all of the roots right here in the center. And then we have this great little door and we just 
We snap it right in. It's super easy. Mm -hmm. Now, you might have seen baskets like these if you've been to like Key West or even to Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. They have these hanging in all of the big resorts because they make such a big statement. Yeah. And I have just fallen in love with these. So you can go to the nursery or to, you know, the home goods store and pick out Pick out your flowers the way you would pick out produce. Right. What looks good? And yeah. you just can't go wrong with these. That's you know what right. I mean? There's no wrong way to do it. Yeah. Real quick, I'm just going to show you um, back here. Okay. We we planted this um, right at the beginning of lawn and garden season, which was just a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And you can see it's all filling in. You can hardly tell what color the pot is. Now, this one is the mini, and this one is the 15-inch. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. And you can see we didn't really do anything that was the same. It was like... Yeah. I'll put this one here and this one here, yeah. and you get such this big impact, and you're gonna look like a pro. Yes. People are gonna stop by and they're gonna say, "Where did you get Where this?" Did you get, they're gonna say, "How did you? How did you do that? Yes. How did you get the plants to grow like that?" Because other than a, a, a you know a container, a pot like this, everything just typically just grows out of the top, and right. that's it. And it's a lot of times it's more about. Oh, that's a pretty pot versus, wow, look at those plants. Mm, I know. And, you know, yeah. I heard you when you were talking um, before, yeah. kind of about those areas in your yard where it's like, oh, nothing will really grow there. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect, perfect place to put a potted plant. And so now I'm done working on the outside, and now I just get to go around and put in anything that I like. I like to mix greenery. It's like, like I said, there's no wrong answer. Yeah. But it's really, really easy to do, and as the season continues, use all of these are going to start to fill in and look I mean I barely spent any time on this before the show yeah. and now it's just so fun to kind of pick and choose other colors other textures that I want to put in here and again because you've got that um, that great little trough in the bottom yeah. when you water mm -hmm. everything is going to go right in here you get that extra little storage down here so you won't have to be a slave to right. watering because that's right. the worst thing about pots that's right and this one so, it, so it's about beauty, it's about ease, it's about variety, it's about being successful when you plant. Yes. That's what it is. And the plants don't have to be expensive, they don't have to be anything extra special. They just, maybe you just like that color or you just like that shape. You put it all together and voila, you've got 360 degrees of fabulousness and it took you no time to do. So you can see our prices there. You're getting two of the 10 inch or two of the 15 inch. Your choice, you decide. And then of course you get the hanging chains as well because these are made to hang. Where do you hang them? You hang them anywhere, anywhere. you want beauty. Yes. Anywhere, well, look at that. That's so true. I mean, and these really are absolutely beautiful. So you get to choose your color. That's gonna be, you know, one of the only two decisions that you have to make. It's like, okay, do I want the 15 or do I want the 10? Yeah. And then what color? I'll tell you that for the first couple of weeks, it'll matter. Mm -hmm. At some point, they're gonna be so filled in, as you yeah. can see back here. Right. You can't even, it's like, what color is this? Oh, right. there it is. You get a little peek yeah. of right. white in there. Yeah. But they really are just stunning. And look, I'm almost done with this and then if you don't mind I'll probably yeah. come over there and, oh, and work absolutely. on the mini as well but I mean really just while I have been here check out how beautiful this is oh wow and really as the season continues yeah. and you just put that water right into the center yeah. it's gonna fill in and look at how easy this is and you can't do it wrong I mean there's absolutely nothing that you can screw up with this <laughs> I hardly have the same plant in there yeah. and you have such an easy fun look so I'm gonna trade places okay, we'll, with you we'll switch places and I, and I I love as Carrie said, it's hard to screw it up. Yeah. And that's important too, because if you feel like, well, I'm not, I'm not really a gardener, I'm not, but I love plants. And I, that's how I am. I know that I'm not a gardener, but I love plants. And this to me makes it so easy because now I can have a variety of plants. I don't have to go around and water every single separate yes. one. I water one time and I'm done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And because of that trough at the bottom, and again, you can see I went from the outside in, and then I just snap my little my little screen right into place. And again, what this is going to do, and this is revolutionary because I'm going to get all of that oxygen right into where these plants need it, and that's what's going to give you healthy plants. And that's why they're going to get so big and beautiful because it's getting everything that they need. Right. And you don't have to, you know, like you said, you don't have to buy expensive plants. 
<laughs> literally almost everything I have up here mm -hmm. is like a dollar a plant. So yeah. it's it's a really great way to make a, a big impact for a small amount of money. And you're going to get two of them. And that's and that's right. You're getting two. So think about it. These can flank your front door. They can flank the, the, the back door going out to the patio or going out to your garden. This is something that you can do in a matter of a few minutes. You go get the plants, you go get the soil, and then in a few minutes, you've planted all of these, and then you just let them grow. And do you see what's hanging up behind me? Do you see the fact that it fills in that space, all of the impact, all of the color that it gives you? And you're looking at plant, not pot. You know what I mean? You're looking at all of the greenery and the color, and that's what makes it special and fun. And that's why these are always so popular here at HSN. Carrie, it's spring. Oh, We're starting to think about these it. kind of things now. I know. Yes, I love it. I love the feeling of having something that when you walk outside, mm -hmm. not only does it intrigue and make other people feel good, mm -hmm. but it's something that you enjoy. Yeah. And when it's really easy like this, it's just such a pleasure because you don't want to have to be a slave to your plants all mm -hmm. season long. I happen to enjoy that, yeah. but that's just me. <laughs> and I know I'm cuckoo like that. Right. But, but for you all, I just want to make sure that you have something that's easy to do yeah. and that you can feel good about and that you can look like a pro yeah. because this is going to make it seem like you are a pro yes you can't mess it up look I'm already done with the outside of this one okay and look these are simply some petunias I mean they're super inexpensive flowers but I love the differences in the color and now I'll just you know add a couple of more on top here and with this one um probably the smallest plant that you're going to get is going to be about this tiny size. Even with that, I break it down a little bit. This root structure inside of these is going to be so tough, you guys. All you have to do is just kind of squeeze it to fit it into that hole. And remember, you're going to go from the outside in. Okay. And now when you get into the top, again, I'm just looking for different textures, different mm -hmm. colors, things that are just going to feel and look special. Yeah. And again, depending on where you're going to be planting it, yeah. you just have to consider, are you going to be in full sun yeah. or are you going to be in the shade and then just make a decision based on that it's so easy and so it's fun right and and as you're looking at these again this is your time to go ahead and pick these up remember your Carrie right now is working on the 10 inch which is a little bit smaller it's smaller but it still gives you a big impact because you can get 12 plants going around the outside and then who knows how many going along the top. It oh, just depends yeah. on, you know, Fill how big up. the plants just are. Just shove it right? as much as you want. Just yeah. make it look pretty and fun. And, and, and the same thing with the 15 inch, you just have a bigger space. So if you get the 10 inch, the smaller one, it's going to be your choice of black or terracotta in terms of the color of the, of the container. If you get the 15 inch, you can get black or terracotta or white or turquoise completely up to you you can decide you're getting two of them and you get the hanging uh, metal chains as well that go along with it and it's great that the chains are metal because it's going to be it needs to be strong oh, because yeah. you're going to have a lot of plants oh, in here yeah and you know and because it'll hold so much extra water yeah. it is nice that you have the chain on there that's nice and strong and sturdy because you can fill this with water mm. and that's what I'll do I mean I will take um, just you know a big old picture of it yeah. and just put it right in the center of my plant until it's literally spilling out yeah that way I know that it's nice and filled up and it'll hold it in that nice trough in the bottom and again it's just going to require a lot less maintenance mm -hmm. than having a full garden wood you don't have to cut out a section of your yard for it yeah. and no check it out I know it's so beautiful I love it look, look at, at how wonderful and how easy it was and all I had to do was just go to the nursery and buy whatever looked pretty yeah. and it was super easy because now I have 300 and 60 degrees of flowers all the way around, just like they have, you know, in those beautiful resorts on the Strip in Miami. Right, and, right. and I'm telling you, within okay. just a few weeks, if you water right in the center here, you're going to get this big, full 360 Look degrees of flowers. And again, Look we just that. did this at the beginning of the season, and yeah. it's filling in so nicely. Now, this is a 15 inch. This okay. is what we're calling the, the ultimate. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then yeah. um, over by you, we have what we're calling the mini, which by the way is not very mini yeah. if you think about it. You can get in so many plants, but notice here we've got these great little windows which are allowing that airflow and circulation in there. Mm -hmm. And when you water, you do it just right here in the middle. And whoa, 
Oh, look at it. It's, it's like, what is yeah. it called? Confetti. I know. You know? Uh, it's so pretty though, isn't it? It is. This, I you love know, it. You know, when I, when I look at these, what I think of is, you know, of course, if you, maybe you like to garden in your garden and you like to have hanging plants all over, definitely get these. But I also think about those of us who maybe the, the idea of doing the act, the gardening on your knees, in the sun, bending over for hours at a time, cultivating that soil is just a bit too much for you. Oh. You know, that day has come and gone. Oh, but yeah. you still love flowers, you still love plants. You don't wanna live without them. This allows you to, on a table, like Carrie just did, she's standing upright, she's not having to bend over. She can, you know, plant the plants, yeah. hang them up, and enjoy them at eye level. <laughs> yes. And, and yes. listen, would you rather have this? Yeah, no. <laughs> or this? I mean, this is done. I am done with hanging baskets like this that, by the way, dry out really quickly because there is no wiggle room. There isn't a trough at the bottom that's holding extra water. They're difficult. And really, when it is doing well, it's still only at the top. Yeah. Now we have this 360 degrees that I did literally right before your eyes. And just because it's fun, I just keep shoving flowers in there. Because that's what I love to do. What's also important is that the, the, it's aerated. Because I've had plants that I've, uh, you know, pl tried to tried to take mm -hmm. care of in pots. Yes. And they got root rot because they were just too wet. Right. But because you've got the air going around, they're aerated. They've got the air. They've got the, um, you're going to have that water um, kind of reservoir down at the bottom. So it can slowly kind of release the water and the plants are always getting nourished. And then you plant it with fertilizer. You take care of it but look at what oh, can grow. I love it, and it's really, really easy. And that's the thing, you know, we don't want things to be difficult. If yeah. it's gonna be difficult, you know you're never gonna follow through with it. Right. It'll just be too difficult, but with yeah. as easy as this is, and the kind of attention that you will get by your guests when they're walking by, I have people that stop and take pictures of my house and of my baskets, mm -hmm. and I get the same question all the time, where did you get this? Yeah. And I'm so happy to say that you can get it right here on HSN. For and look sure. at within just a couple of minutes, we have made a masterpiece. And remember, when you first plant it, you're going to see the pot. But after a while, when everything starts to gel and everything starts to get all happy and start to, to grow, all you see is plant. <laughs> it's completely up to you. Carrie, thank you so oh, much. Oh, my pleasure. Always. Happy gardening, everybody. Yay! Enjoy. And happy spring. Spring has sprung and we're getting you ready. I hope that you enjoyed this hour. You can stay on the phone for anything that you've seen, whether it's the pot or anything.